In previous clips, we talked to you about the province of Azerbaijan in eastern Iran. This time, we will go to Loristan province in Iran and talk to you about this province. Loristan province is one of the western provinces of Iran. It has a population of more than 1,760,000 people. This province is the 13th province in terms of population and is considered one of the most populous provinces in Iran. Khoram Abad is the capital of the province and the 20th largest city in the country. According to archaeological findings, this area is one of the first ancient human settlements. In this clip, we want to get more acquainted with the historical regions of this province. The local clothes, dance and poetry of which bring the spirit of art and resistance to people of this province and have been intertwined for many years. They call it the land of the Lors. We're in Loristan, a province west of Iran. Today, I'm going to talk about their culture and their traditions. In order to fully understand a culture, we need to understand who they are, so that means we have to look into their history. When you actually wander around Lower Stone, you'll encounter many caves, which actually some of them date back to the Stone Age. The one that we're in today dates back to the Ashkanian dynasty which is located 45 kilometers north of Khoramabad. According to some historians, the Kogon Cave was built by the Ashkanian Empire, known in the West as the Arsacid Empire, in order for them to rest the remains of their loved ones. The territories presently occupied by the Lors have been inhabited by man for some 40,000 years. However, the earliest known people to inhabit the territories presently occupied by the Lors were the Elamites, who settled in the area as early as 3000 BC, and later the Kassites, who are well known for their bronze artifacts, lived in present-day Loristan as early as the 2nd millennium BC. The Kassite conquered Babylonia in 1747 BC and dominated Mesopotamia for 576 years. Among all historical sites of Loristan province, we can mention Palak al Aflak, a historical castle in the center of Khoramabad city in Loristan province. The building is located on a hill near the river overlooking the city of Khoramabad and in the center of the city. The construction of this castle dates to the Sasanid period, 224-651 AD. In part of Khoramabad city, there is a cube-shaped stone inscription that is integrated into a natural rock. Its artifact dates to the Seljuk period, which is the 5th century in Iran. The subject of this inscription is the ban of some bad traditions at that time. The stone whirlpool is one of the historical monuments left from the Sasanid period in the northwest of Khoramabad city. The brick tower is one of the ancient monuments of Loristan province. This building is about 900 years old and is built on a stone base in the south of Khoramabad. It is about 30 meters high and its lower surface is 5.4 meters in diameter. You can climb to the top of the minaret by taking 99 steps. The minaret was used as a large lantern to light fires to guide convoys. Kashka Bridge is an ancient bridge dating back to the 4th century. It took 10 years to build the Kashgan Bridge based on the existing inscription. Unfortunately, due to the critical regime's inattention to Iranian culture and historical monuments, 
Part of the foundations of this bridge were destroyed in the Great Flood of March 2019. The history of music amongst the Lores goes back to nearly 6,000 years. Music plays a great role in Lori culture. Lori music is divided into two groups, vocal music and instrumental music. Music is played in funerals, known as Kamaryuna, and as for weddings, simple and yet delicate Sazo Dohol. And now the next question. What do the lords wear? لباس از گلبنی که روسری زنان لور بوده و اینکه به سبکای و مدل‌های خاص پیچیده می‌شده. توی لورسان چند تا اینو تایفه متفاوتن که هر کدوم پیشش این گلبنی رو به شکل‌های خاصی می‌پیچن. لباس بعدیش میشه کلنجه به زبان لوری توی کمر کلنجه از پنبه محلی و دوختای خیلی ریز کار شده و سکه های قدیمی هم برای تزینات و زیبایی کار روی لباس استفاده میشه و پیراهن زیرش هم که یک پیراهن بلند میشه به اسم کراس تو زبان لوریستان معروفه لباس های سنتی و تو مراسم های مختلفی به خصوص مراسم های شادی خیلی استفاده می کنن. One of the main attractions of any province is the food of that region. Get acquainted with the most popular traditional foods of Luristan province. Each of the various ethnic groups living in the geography of Iran have dances that are taken from the history of their natural and social life. These dances have various functions and themes such as ritual and religious, joy and lyricism, epic and war, work, imitation and performance, grief and healing. Lori dances include a range of folk dances that have been first formed among groups of Lord Bar people and developed from one generation to the next. Lori dances generally have common features, including performing movements in groups, circular arrangements, melodic aspects, and colorful costumes. The famous poem of the people of Loristan is known as the famous Daya Daya, which is in fact a song about the resistance of the people of Loristan. These days, it is widely read among the people of this province and in their protests. Bye. 
I hope you enjoyed this short clip. In our next videos, we will talk about other provinces. Thank you for watching.